A plan to develop a free shuttle bus between downtown Fargo and Moorhead keeps growing. Officials well, both cities met Tuesday to hash out details about the summer launch. Originally, only eight stops were expected, six in downtown Fargo and two more at the Moorhead Center Mall. However, two others have been added to the service to service a wider area of Moorhead. Mike Kahn, president of the Downtown Community Partnership, sees the route as an economic development tool while others are excited to connect the downtowns. While specifics are still being agreed upon, the program is expected to start up this summer. Google is changing its search algorithm Tuesday and it could impact businesses significantly. The change will affect how Google does searches on your smartphone. The site will now list websites with mobile versions higher when you Google. Website operators are now trying to keep their sites high in the search rankings. Businesses were given two months to prepare for the change. Mobile Geddon, as it's being called, will have a huge impact on search optimization. The new change won't impact Googling on your desktop or tablet. No yahooing over these numbers. Yahoo's first quarter earnings weren't as high as the company expected. The company reported earnings of 15 cents a share. That was down 61% from a year ago. Revenue also fell 4% to just over $1 billion. The company is apparently working to spin off Chinese e-commerce company Alibaba that could boost earnings. Erin Teschuk has won her third Summit League Athlete of the Week award. The junior from Winnipeg had an outstanding time in the 3,000 steeplechase meter race. Her time of 9 minutes and 43 seconds is second best in the NCAAs and seventh in the world this year. This is the fastest a Canadian has run in the history at this event. And she cut 30 seconds off the previous record at North Dakota State. And now let's take a look at the weather brought to you by the Math Bus. Today and tomorrow we'll see sun with highs in the upper 40s and low 50s. The weekend will be rainy Friday through Sunday. However, next week starts up with warmer weather and a high of 58 and sunny on Monday. This has been an SU TV news update brought to you by the NDSU Bookstore.